Hey guys, welcome to my Venus through Signs series. This is Venus through Aries. So if in your birth chart, Venus is sitting in the sign of Aries, this video is for you. Um, also, I want to add in, uh, if you guys know your exact birth time, this can also uh, represent Aries as your seventh house. Some of you probably already knew that. Um, but, you know, I just want to put it put that out there um, so if you don't know where your Venus is placed you can pause this video go to um, astro.com or any other uh, free astrology website and you can generate a free birth chart you would enter your birth day time and location again if you don't know your birth time to see where Venus is it's okay you can just put 12 you were born at 12 p.m. doesn't matter you just want to see where your Venus is placed um, you know and it's going to generate a free birth chart for you if your Venus is in the sign of Aries this is for you all right so for the month of July you guys um, here is your reading Okay, so you guys to save some time because these are so drawn out. Um, hopefully you just have to zoom in on the cards that I pulled. Um, okay, so for we do have the heart of the matter as the Hierophant. So uh, I am seeing that you are taking an oath or making some sort of commitment or sticking to some sort of traditional values I feel like uh, you may have also learned a major lesson um, you have been learning a lot uh, something may have been revealed to you about a relationship you may have just entered into a commitment I am seeing some of you may have even uh, gotten married or will be getting married uh, I feel like there may have been some sort of uh, decision in regards to love like you had to make a choice whether or not you wanted to commit to someone or not or you may have had a choice between two people and had to decide on which person you wanted to commit to some of you may have also um, committed to I don't know maybe going to some sort of counseling or you guys are sharing the same type of traditional values in regards to spirituality or religion or you met your spiritual match overall I feel like this is good energy starting off in July for you Aries um, I do feel like there's a major change coming um, or there has just been a major change or shift or transit something is affecting your life right now um, so look for some sort of major upcoming change, uh, maybe by the end of the month or at the end of cancer season, moving into Leo season. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like there's a major change. Those of you that don't like knuckle cracking, I'm sorry, I was cracking my knuckles. Um, so I feel though that there's going to be some sort of shift and it's going to lead to isolation or not wanting to talk about how you feel there's a secret that's being hidden someone is holding back some sort of secret secret marriage or your secret relationship I don't know if some of you secretly got married like eloped or are you not telling people that you're married or something Maybe I don't know why you would want to keep that a secret. Maybe your family doesn't approve of this person. Maybe it's against traditional values uh, like a same sex relationship or if it's someone who is was raised, um, you know, in a different religious background. I don't know, like a Catholic and a Muslim or a atheist and a Christian. I don't know. But there is something that you might be trying to hide. Uh, feeling like you need to keep something to yourself and you're not ready to open up about it. Uh, also, I'm shown that uh, there's a lot of messages coming in, coming out, so bear with me. Uh, there are secrets that are not meant for you to, to know right now or there are things happening in the universe that is not meant for you to know right now. 
um, you may have reached out to a reader or a psychic about some information and they just couldn't shed uh, some sort of specific light on a situation for you because it's not time for you to know yet. Uh, you need to have, you need to trust your intuition. Uh, some of you may be highly spiritual or psychic yourselves and you're not opening up about it. You're not telling this to your partner or something. Maybe your partner isn't telling you. Some might, somebody might have a secret gift that they're holding on to and that they're not ready to share. Um, I feel that you need to meditate and pray on it. If you have like a lot of dreams, if you're someone who dreams a lot, make sure you're writing down those dreams or listening uh, because that is a way for you to communicate with um, your higher self that I am. Um, I just kind of feel like you're tapping into, you're being revealed some sort of secrets to your sleep. Like this is like divine information or this is you're communicating with the divine. So there's something really spiritual happening to some of you, I feel. And I feel like you've been doing like a lot of meditating and praying as well. And you're wanting to know more. You're wanting to know how else can you find out some sort of information. But I do feel like you might get obsessive with it. So be careful with that. Uh, you don't want to, I don't know, like meditate like all day long or stay on your knees all day long. Um... Yeah, it's something that that you could uh, uh, do too much of. This is, when I see the devil, that's telling me that you're doing too much. This is uh, over ex uh, excess. This is uh, also becoming obsessive or possessive about something. Now, also, this could be telling me that some of you might be attached to someone who has a codependency or who has some sort of addiction, whether it's drugs, alcohol, sex, um, or someone who could be verbally abusive or abuses their gift uh, or uses their psychic ability for the wrong purpose, uh, or who is under spiritual attack or could be meditating to a false deity there's something that is a little off with the devil showing up here. Um, it's also maybe keeping a secret that you're in an abusive relationship or not telling people that maybe your friend, maybe you're holding a secret for a friend, like your friend is in an abusive relationship or you might be holding on, like people might be coming to you with their secrets. And a lot of people are sharing with you that they're in um, an abusive relationship. I see also some sort of confession. Someone might be making some sort of confession or you might make some sort of confession, but in private, not like to the masses. Hmm. Or it, it could be to the masses, like you share a secret like publicly uh, like if you have like a YouTube channel yourself or uh, a vlog or blog, whatever, and you're admitting something or confessing something about a relationship, exposing something, making something known to many people. Also could be teaching about soulmate relationships. Some of you might be uh, taking that path or you could be going to a counselor, uh, having uh, consultations about a uh, um, twin flame relationship. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of love like this, um, first week here. Uh, going into the second week, week, I'm seeing like a lot of power control issues. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries, uh, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius or Capricorn. I feel like this person tries to dominate you or you try to dominate them. This could also be you. Uh, this brings out a lot of insecurities or it might, someone might be trying to abuse their authority or they're abusive because they're insecure. 
uh, because they have some sort of deep hidden secrets from their past that they need to come out this could also go back to the relationship counseling um, or therapy that one of you or some of you might be going through uh, but I feel like a lot of uh, past secrets are coming to the surface also for some of you you this is something that has been following you from a past life like these deep-rooted fears come from past unresolved past life issues and also um, because of the moon because of the phases of the moon things are coming out you might feel a little emotionally imbalanced or unstable uh, sometimes you might let your paranoia get the best of you um, like your I don't know you're changing personalities or switching personalities or the person that you're dealing with might be having like a lot of mood swings but there's something going on um, emotionally that stems from someone's uh, past either something from a, a past life if you're into astrology you might want to look at the birth chart and see if you can find anything that indicates abuse in a past life um, and um, I just kind of feel like that might be something that you or your partner will be struggling with um, also I don't know if you're a business owner or if you're dealing with someone who is a business owner uh, someone who is very dominating and controlling who has to uh, be right who has to take control of everything uh, this also could be a father figure that maybe interferes in your relationship from time to time or for some of you I feel like it may be an uncle um, and I heard the name Louis or Lou so I don't know who that um, belongs to or who that message is for uh, with the seven of wands here I'm feeling that there's going to be some you're gonna draw the line you're going to take a stand for yourself I feel like you're going to feel maybe like you're under attack um, but it, again it could be your paranoia paranoia like you're it's all in your mind like you're taking things the wrong way getting easily defend, uh, offended or defensive about things and it's really because you're not processing the information correctly um, this is one of those things you're like is this in my head like you know maybe did he really say it that way I think I took it the wrong way no nah, he meant it this way and so you're like kind of feeling like you're under attack or feeling like you need to defend yourself and you might be taking things the wrong way and be careful how that comes out because I see by you doing that you're cutting people out of your life or you're getting rid of people either people are you're cutting ties with them or they're cutting ties with you um, because it's like the words hurt like um, I feel like the things that you're saying it's it's like man there it's like daggers coming out of your mouth and um, again this could be what someone is doing to you and you kind of just make someone go silent with that type of behavior attitude um, now I do feel that someone might kind of challenge you this air sign this person is like in their 30s and I feel for some of you not everybody but for some of you this person has like blonde hair and blue eyes or brown hair and blue eyes um, even if they were like contact lenses I'm, I'm feeling like blue eyes from somebody um, but they're very compassionate about what they have to say and you guys might go head to head or, or have some sort of clash in regards to communication so you might have some communication uh, issues um, during that week of the 16th through the 22nd so just be mindful of that and during that last week I feel that um, there are still challenges in communication it's like learning how to defend yourself or learning how to express yourself um, there could be something that you said to somebody that ends something for good or they might say something to you and you just kind of cut them off like that was the last straw 
uh, because you feel like maybe you were under attack or that was just below the belt. Um, and whatever started off out here, I feel like you're, it's like doing you, like you're just spin, like I'm, you're saying I'm just doing me or I'm um, having me time. For some of you, it could go from a happy relationship to some sort of breakup. Um, or your relationship could cause you to cut off all ties with a friend or family members or something. Something's going on with that. Um, even religious sector. I don't know, like, because of your relationship, you cut all ties with uh, previous religious friends or family members. There's something going on with cutting out of people and changing, going undergoing some sort of... Uh, uh, major change and transformation that is painful and might cause a bit of grieving um, because I'm seeing you feeling like well I'm just going to be financially independent I'm going to be to myself um, but I feel like once you are confident in yourself or once you um, become self-sufficient uh, you're going to get a call from someone. You're Someone's going to uh, either call you or you're going to have to return to finish some unfinished business with someone or something. Um, also, for some of you that might be at a job, it is a possibility that you might quit your job. Like you finally tell your boss off or your supervisor and that, that costs you your job. But then I'm seeing somebody getting called back from another place. Um, so, you know, if that does happen, I don't feel like you'll be jobless for long. Um, if you have some sort of breakup, I feel that someone else from your past might come along. I mean, it's possible that there could be a reconciliation because everyone's situation is different. But I do feel like... Um, some things are going to resurface or some people or situation is going to resurface. It could be with a Capricorn. Um, and if not, overall, I feel that there's going to be some stubbornness or someone's like holding a grudge or holding on to something. Um, someone might be stuck in their ways. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with. For some of you, I feel like you are also uh, saving or holding on to something that's valuable to you. So uh, anything that's materialistic, money, clothes, or so whatever is whatever is valuable to you, I feel like you're holding on to that. You might receive uh, some sort of news or information as well. Whatever, like someone, uh, an announcement is made and you save it, you save something to your phone. Uh, especially for those of you, I, I don't mean to keep going to job, but really the Venus through sign readings, out, you know, uh, that's some of everything. It, it doesn't always have to be love. So whatever this announcement is, like if you see something on the internet, I can see some of you taking some sort of screenshot and saving it. Even if it's a picture of someone, either this is uh, a picture of someone or uh, some sort of announcement and I feel like you're saving it to your phone. Uh, or computer or whatever. All right, so Aries, this has been a general reading. Um, for private readings, you would email me to matt76 at gmail.com, but I hope it did resonate with some of you guys. Um, make sure you're leaving your comments. Um, I enjoy reading your comments. Make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing. And also, uh, in that description box, just check on uh, all the places where you can reach me. Um, but if you're trying to inquire about... Um, pricing uh, always email me directly okay uh, but thank all of you and many blessings to you all